Hey there all you marine science fans, this is Kevin from the Seymour Marine Discovery Center back with another behind the scenes creature feature. Today we'll be investigating this bizarre looking creature that our scientists sometimes come across when they're diving in eelgrass beds and in giant kelp forests like this one along the California coast. Here's one on display at the Seymour Center. Take a moment to notice the unusual way that it moves through its kelp forest habitat. Did you notice the long, thin structure it's gliding on? That's its muscular foot, which it uses to hold on and move through its kelp forest and seagrass habitats. Now let's take an even closer look to try to find other special structures it has to help it survive in its environment. Which interesting structures are you noticing on this animal? Do you have some ideas on how you think it uses those structures to help it survive? Maybe to protect itself from predators or to catch food? One thing you may have noticed is its wide head with long, thin tentacles. This animal gets its common name from that unusual body structure. It's called a hooded nudibranch or lion's mane nudibranch. Let's observe how they're using their hood and tentacle structures. All of those tiny pink dots are brine shrimp, tiny animal plankton. You can see how these nudibranchs are using their hood structures to scoop up their brine shrimp meal. Did you notice how the tentacle structures surrounding the hood interlace to trap the meal inside? Now that's one cool way to eat. You can see why the hooded nudibranch is one of my favorite marine creatures. We discovered some cool survival structures like the foot they have to move and hold on in their watery environment. We observe them using their oral hood structure to scoop and catch their food. Then the fringe-like tentacles that surround the hood interlock, zipping up like a zipper to trap the food inside. To top it off, hooded nudibranchs produce a strong watermelon scent when disturbed. Scientists think this scent repels predators. Hooded nudibranchs sure do have some amazing survival strategies and structures. I bet you even noticed some other interesting structures that we haven't discussed. I hope you'll keep wondering and investigating to learn more just like our scientists do. Until next time, keep on being curious and do your part to protect the ocean. You can send your hooded nudibranch observations and questions to Kevin at discover at See you next time.